919. Welcome back, everybody. The doctor's in now answering some of your questions and mine. Dr. Amanda Salter, an ophthalmologist at Shambaum Eye Specialist in Berkeley. Doctor, good morning once again. I'm waiting. There she is. Hi, Doctor. Hello. <laughs> there we go. We got you. Um, doctor, I'm going to jump into one question right off the bat here. Is there a surgery to correct Jay's eyes for reading? In other words, for presbyopia, when you have this as you age and you can't read up close anymore, do you ever resort to surgery for that? Yes. So, you know, the primary treatments thus far are glasses and contact lenses, but there are surgical procedures. So refractive procedures such as LASIK, um, where you can do a monovision where your non-dominant eye will be focused for near. Um, and there are also uh, intraocular lens implants. Um, specifically, you know, if you've got cataracts, that's something to consider. There are multifocal lenses that give you a range of vision far intermediate and near um, and there's a corneal procedure called uh, inlays so there are a few oh. surgical options okay good uh, yeah that a lot of people just go right for the readers um, so you, you can just revisit this question can can the eye drops be used by those who wear contacts to see far away but you also need to see up close and you don't want to get the bifocal going Yes. So when they did this study, they looked at people who were a little bit farsighted or moderately nearsighted, and you can use them with contact lenses within that range. Outside of that range, we don't know if it'll work. We could, you know, you could try it and talk with your doctor. Um, like I mentioned, you do want to make sure your contact lenses are removed when you're placing the drop, and you wait at least 10 minutes before putting your contact lenses back in. Um. Uh, here's from one of our viewers. Uh, I'm only 44 and I wear readers. To top that off, I'm farsighted. It might be because of COVID or age. Either way, I feel your pain, Jay. But uh, 44, doctor, that's when you start to see our eyes just uh, change on us, right? Right, so usually around 40 is when the lens begins to stiffen and has more trouble changing shape to focus up close. Everyone is different, so for some people that may happen earlier or later. Um, but one important thing to highlight is whenever you have a change in your vision, you really should get a full eye exam because you want to make sure you, know, you yeah. understand what the cause is and you're getting the appropriate treatment. So Amy says uh, 80 bucks a month, not covered by insurance. She's kind of bummed about that one, doctor. You know, if you're somebody who's not using it every day, say you're using it occasionally for when you're out socially or sports events, then, you know, that one month is going to last you longer. So that's something to consider. Okay. And then um, I, I did want to ask you, and I'll just call up this <laughs> from Misty saying... Um, she has one contact in her left eye to read, and that's what I do too. I do the mono vision. My one eye can read up close, mm -hmm. my one eye sees far away with the contact. Um, that's a different story altogether. But I did want to ask you, doctor, before I let you go, uh, for any of us, are there exercises we can do to strengthen our eyes? Can we, um, you know, can we be looking far away and looking up close, or what, what can we do? So really no is the answer. There's, there's only one type of exercise which improves a totally separate eye condition and not presbyopia. So unfortunately, there's really not much you can do. As far as eye prevention and good health in general, regular eye exams, avoid smoking, and sunglasses for UV protection. Those are the best things you can do for prevention. All right, doctor, thank you. Uh, it was uh, fun Thanks testing so this out on Jay, and I'm glad that, that the drops worked for him. Ryan?